Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. The topic of my lecture today about fetal skull pH. So, what we want to discuss today? The aim for fetal blood sampling, the procedure, the interpretation of the results, and what are the actions needed after we getting the result of fetal blood sampling let us start with the aim okay if you are doing ctg for example and there is abnormality in fetal heart rate okay and the ctg results denoting that there is fetal acidosis we wanted to confirm if there is fetal acidosis hypoxia and acidosis or not we can prove it or disprove it by using fetal scalp bh for blood sampling okay okay so a blood sample is taken from the fetal scalp as you see in this picture for bh and the lactate measurements so we have two factors bh and lactate okay in cases of fetal heart rate at risk of acidosis and this is how to do it and this is and we are going to discuss the procedure and this is the package and the, ne the needed uh, instruments so what is the procedure First, there is some prerequisite, like what? Like the baby should be presented with vertex, okay, cephalic presentation. And after 32 weeks gestational age, of course, the membrane should be ruptured, so I can reach the scalp of the baby. And the cervix should be at least dilated 2 centimeters. If more than that, it is more easier. But at least two centimeters. Why? Because I wanted to introduce this cone, the amniscope, and the, the and the, through it I can pass the lancet to do the incision and taking with the capillary tube the sample. So I need the cervix to be dilated at least two centimeters. Okay, this is a prerequisite to do fetal skull blood sample. What about the sample? The sample of blood, at least 20 microliter of blood by using capillary tube through so this cool, the capillary tube pass and take the blood sample after we did incision with the last. Okay? But before doing that, remember you should apply betadine as an antiseptic and dry the scalp okay because any amniotic fluid any contamination of the blood sample will give false results so this is very important item okay okay so cervix is dilated at least two centimeter the cone is applied at first Sorry, first we, we apply betadine antiseptic and dry the skull, then apply uh, after application of the cone, then the lancet will do the incision as, as in this picture, this is the site of the incision, then with the capillary tube we will take 20 microliter of blood, okay? So, what we are going to do is this sample. This sample is analyzed immediately on pH meter in the delivery room, which simultaneously indicate the pH and the lactate measurements. Immediately, we will get the result with this analyzer for the pH and the lactate. Okay? So, it should be available in the delivery room. Sampling 
can be repeated several times for the same fetus if the fetal heart rate justifies it. Okay, what about interpretation of results? We have two items, as I said, pH and the lactate. And you have measure for both. Okay, what is the normal for pH? The normal for pH should be above 7.25. And the, the case is considered pre-acidosis if pH between 7 Point twenty and seven point twenty five, and the case is considered abnormal. I mean, acidosis is defined by measurement less than seven point twenty. Okay, this as regard the pH. What about lactate? The normal lactate are less than 4.2 millimol per liter. Okay, this is the normal. What is the borderline or what's called pre-acidosis between 4.2 and 4.8 millimol per liter? And what is the acidosis or abnormal result if lactates are more than 4.8 millimol per liter. Okay, so as you see in this figure, we can say acidosis if we found pH less than 7.20 or lactate more than 4.8 millimol per liter. Okay, okay, definitely this is acidosis. Okay. So, what if we have discordance? What is the discordance? Two values didn't belong to the same category. I, BH is not on hand with lactates. One of them normal, one of the, one of the other is preacidosis or acidosis. So, there is discordance, disagreement. So we should repeat and take the all measures to do it in a proper way. I mean, don't let anything contaminate the sample because sample if contaminated with meconium or amniotic fluid or other fluids, will give false result, okay? Also, don't take a long time because prolonged collection time increases risk of fetal blood reacting with air. And this will cause changes to the sample and make it more prone to clotting and the blocking the analyzer machine, okay? Okay. So, take it, the sample rapidly, properly, apply antiseptic and dry the scalp, and be careful not to contaminate the blood sample taken from the scalp. Okay. All this will give you a good result. A good representative result. Okay? Okay. So, fetal scalp blood sampling shouldn't be performed if there is clear evidence of serious fetal compromise. The clinical picture indicates that birth should be exhibited. I should be in hurry to deliver the baby. I have a clear evidence of serious fetal compromise. I have no time to do fetal scalp blood sampling. I already have a definite diagnosis of fetal compromise, so I should interfere immediately. Okay, so in this situation, fetal scalp blood sampling is contraindicated.
okay also contraindication to do fetal scalp blood sampling if any other factors there is infection sepsis there is the 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 baby is not presented with uh, with cephalic presentation premature baby bleeding tendency so all these are contraindications okay so if any contraindication present avoid to do fetal scalp blood sampling okay what is the clinical management plan following a ph or lactate result You should take into account previous measurements, progressive labor, and the current clinical situation. Which is better, lactate or BH? Actually, lactate is better. It is easier and more affordable, adjunct to external fetal monotol. Okay? Also, if I have small sample of blood maybe this small sample I can't do BH for this small blood sample but I can do lactate measurement that's why I said lactate is bitter so there is many advantage for lactate rather than BH it's easier Small blood sample can give me a result in lactate, but not in BH. So, let us go to the end. What is your action according to the result? If the fetal blood sampling is abnormal, if it is borderline, if it is normal. Okay? Let us start if it is abnormal. I mean, there is acidosis. You should consult senior obstetrician, contact the midwifery coordinator and the neonatal team. We have an emergency situation, everybody, we have an emergency situation. Talk to the woman and her support person about the results of fetal blood sampling. You should tell her there is a fetal hypoxia and acidosis and we should take an action we should have an emergency delivery we should be in hurry to deliver the baby exhibit the birth be in hurry to deliver the baby according to the situation if the if it is the cervix is fully dilated and you can shorten the second stage and exhibit the birth vaginal if the cervix is not yet fully dilated and will take long journey immediately emergency cesarean section so this is to save the baby okay what if the fetal blood sampling is borderline consider repeat the, the fetal blood sampling within 30 minutes Okay, if still indicated by CTG trace, the patient on CTG, and if there is still the abnormalities you found in CTG, that's why you did the first fetal blood sampling. If it is bursted, okay, repeat the blood sample, fetal scalp blood sample again to see. If it is normal or abnormal, this is in borderline cases. If the fetal blood sampling is normal, so continue monitoring with CTG. Okay. If you found any concern later on on CTG, repeat the fetal blood sampling within one hour. And according to the result, you can take the action. This is the last slide. Thank you. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine at Surah University. This is my books.
published on Amazon, textbook of obstetric, textbook of gynecology, contraception handbook, and the multiple choice question book. You can go to Amazon and uh, find my site and see or get a sample of these available there, and you can buy them from Amazon. Thank you.